हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आई वेलकम यू ऑल टू इंजीनियर्स एकेडमी डू सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल इफ यू हैवन डन इट एट नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व दिस प्रॉब्लम विच से दैट बिकॉज ऑफ द लॉन्ग टर्म लोडिंग फ्रॉम 900 न्यूटन टेंशन इन द पावर लाइन द यूनिफॉर्म यूटिलिटी पोल हैज डिवेलप ए फाइव डिग्री लीन सो वी हैव दिस फाइव डिग्री लीन एंड इफ द मास पर यूनिट लेंथ ऑफ द नाइन मीटर पोल इज ट्वेंटी फोर के मीटर एंड द मास ऑफ द लेम फिक्सर इज नेग्लिजिबल determine the reactions at ground support a so we are given that the mass per unit length is equal to 24 uh, 24 kg per meter this is 24 so the total mass of the pole will be uh, small m times l and small m is 24 kg per meter multiply by the length of the pole so the length of the pole is 9 meters so this here we will have 9 meters so meter will cancel out with meter and we will be left with kgs and the mass comes out to be 216 kgs and if we want to calculate the weight of the pole so that would be 216 times 9.81 So 216 multiplied by 9.81. This gives me uh, 2118.96 newton. Now the weight of the pole is 2118.96 newton. Now if we draw the free body diagram, so before drawing the free body diagram, uh, the, here we will have the tension in this rope, which is making 15 degree angle. and the weight of the pole is going to act at the mid mid length of this pole this will be the weight and at a we will have let's say a x reaction uh, here we will have a x and there we will have a y and since the pole is fixed in the ground so it can resist the moment so let's say that the here we will have the moment reaction at a as well so this is m a So now let me draw the free body diagram. So this is our free body diagram, and this pole AC, this AC represents the pole which has a length of nine meters, and here we have that tension which is given. This is nine hundred newton, and here we have that AX, AY, and let me draw that uh, moment as well. Here we have that reaction moment, and. and this is the vertical line this is that vertical line and with the vertical line the pole is making 5 degree angle this angle is 5 degree so let's write that this is 5 degree angle and the this m is the mid point of the pole so this means that this length this is 4.5 and this is 4.5 the total length is 9 so mc length and am length they are equal and it is equal to 4.5 so let me write that am is equal to mc this is equal to 9 divided by 2 which is 4.5 meters now we can find the ab length since the triangle abc this triangle abc this triangle abc is a right angle triangle so we can write that ab is equal to the the cos of the 9 meters right so this will be 9 cos of 5 so 9 cos of 5 this gives us 8.966 so this is equal to 8.966 meters and now since m is the midpoint then m dash is the midpoint of this ab length as well so we can say that am dash is equal to bm dash and that will be equal to the half of ab this is ab divided by 2 and similarly we can find this bc length so bc this bc will be the sine of that 9 meters if we consider this outer triangle so we can write that bc is equal to ac sine of 5 and ac is the length of the pole which is 9 so bc is 9 sine of 5 This is zero point seven eight four meters, and similarly the M M dash. 
the mm dash length this this mm dash is the sine component of this length and this am is the half of that 9 meters this is 4.5 meters so now we can write that mm dash is 4.5 sine of 5 degrees so 4.5 sine of 5 this gives a 0 0.392 this is 0 0.392 meters now to find a x and a y we have to apply the summation of forces along x equals to 0 since the system is in equilibrium so the summation of forces along x is equal to 0 this is our positive direction so now as we can see that uh, before going to apply this equation we have to resolve this tension t so this tension t will have one component in this direction this one will be the cos component this one will be 900 cos of 15 and here we will have the sine component this one will be the sine component this is 900 sine of 15 so now if we apply the summation of forces along x then a x is acting in the positive direction this is a x and the cos component of this tension t is acting in the negative x so we have to write minus 900 cos of 15 this will be equal to 0 there is no other component in the horizontal direction so from this we can say that a x is equal to 900 cos of 15 and 900 cos of 15 is 869.33 so a x is 869.33 newtons similarly to find a y we have to apply the summation of forces along y equals to 0 and this is our positive direction in the upward direction then again a y is acting in the upward direction so a y is positive and the sine component of that tension is acting in the downward direction so that is minus 900 sine of 15 and similarly the weight is acting in the downward direction and the weight is this 218.96 so this is minus uh, 2118.96 this will be equal to 0 and if we bring these two terms to the other side of equation so the sign will become positive so we will have a y equal to the sum of both of these terms so now we can find a y which is 900 sine of 15 plus 2118.96 this is a y is 2351.89 a y equals to 2351.89 newton now to find the, the the moment reaction at a we have to apply the summation of moment about point a so the summation of the moment about point a that will be equal to zero and the counterclockwise moment is assumed to be positive so now this this m a is in the counterclockwise direction so we will write that plus m a this is the couple uh, reaction at point a and then as we can see that um, this cos component is producing the counterclockwise moment about that point a so i will write 900 this is plus 900 cos of 15 and the perpendicular distance of this cos component from that point a is this this a b length so i will multiply this with a b and we know a b is a b is 8.966 so we will multiply this with 8.966 similarly the sine component is producing the counterclockwise moment as well and its moment arm is bc so we will write plus 900 sine of 15 and bc length is 0 0.784 so i will multiply it with 0 0.784 and similarly the weight is producing the counterclockwise moment so we will write plus and the weight is 218.96 so 218 2118.96 and the perpendicular distance of this weight from that point A is this distance, this mm dash, and mm dash is 0 0.392. So I will multiply this with 0 0.392. So this is multiplied by 
zero point three nine two and this will be equal to zero so let me find all these this is nine hundred nine hundred cos of fifteen uh, multiply by eight point nine six six So this is this is equal to seven seven nine four point four four seven seven plus that nine hundred sine of fifteen multiply by zero point seven eight four. This is one hundred and eighty two point six two, and then to twenty one eighteen point nine six. Into zero point three nine two, this gives us eight thirty. Eight thirty point six three. This is equal to zero. So this is M A. So now, if we bring these three constants to the other side of equation, so they will become negative. So M A is equal to minus seven seven nine four point four four minus hundred eighty two point six two minus eight thirty point six three. So this gives us minus seven seven nine four point four four minus hundred and eighty two point six two minus eight thirty point six three. So this gives us minus eighty eight zero eight newton meter. And the minus sign tells us that the assumed direction of M A is not accurate, and the reaction. And A is acting in the opposite direction. It is in the clockwise direction. So we will write that its magnitude is 8808 and its direction is clockwise. So this is the moment reaction at A which is 8808 and AX is 869.33 Newton and AY is 2351.89 Newton. So this is the solution of this particular problem. I hope this will help you in your learning.